And Jess, once the governor adds his signature, those two bills will become two laws here in the state. The author of these bills say increasing access to Narcan and similar drugs is the best way to combat against the fentanyl crisis. Even if there's uh, people that are, are currently addicted, whether they come out of jail or whether they come out of prison or where, wherever else, um, that there's a possibility that they could use again. And we don't want people to die from that. State Senator Paul Rosina reacting after two of his bills clear their final hurdle in the state legislature, both advancing off the House floor with bipartisan support. Both House Republicans and Democrats advance Senate Bill 711 and 712. 711 focused focuses on jails and prisons, providing Narcan or opioid antagonists to inmates that are being released. 712 deals with hospitals, requiring them to provide antagonists to people being discharged who are believed to be at risk of overdosing. When you talk to people in this in this realm of, of opioid antagonists and the fentanyl crisis, we are leading the way with the, with the most pro produced bills this year. We have set the standard for that, and people are pointing to Oklahoma and saying, look, this is what they're doing because this matters. This is a crisis in our country. And now that lawmakers have moved to expand access to antagonists, he says it's important that parents uh, focus on informing their kids about the risks. Please watch your children. Make sure they understand what they're getting into if they start taking uh, drugs from people that they don't know. And Rosino has one more bill to get passed by the full house. It looks to provide school nurses with access to drugs like Narcan and similar drugs. That Narcan would come from a state supply, that state supply paid for using federal grants.